Okay, this is just a quick video showing you what happened or what to look for when you um, connect your flight controller um, unit, your flight controller software to your quad. <clears throat> As you can see, it's blinking red and green, meaning that there's no satellite I'm in the house. Okay, so, and I'm working with uh, my Futaba this time because um, this is out the way. I'm not using this anymore. Um, I already changed the software and the receiver, so this is not the one I'm using. I'm using this right here. I need to put, I need to put an icon with my quad um, uh, graphic right here. <laughs> All right, let's let's get on to it. So at at this point, you can see. Um, it's working if I hit my return home switch I get my full red showing that it's return home um, bringing the throttle stick together will arm the will arm the quad okay Uh oh <laughs> yeah the next thing is this thing don't um don't stay in the center so you can go almost full throttle without any um resistance you know the other one the um the throttle stay in the middle there was spring tension in the center um here you go and this one's not the case because it's a regular radio so you can stay down and if you accidentally put it up it's gonna take off it's almost dead all right back to it <clears throat> so I'm going to show you what to expect when you plug in your um, your radio no your quad into your into the computer okay here you go plug it in there start making that sound and your USB should start flashing when you harm it. There you go. And immediately show your GPS. I guess. Oh, look. I have three GPS signal here. So, all right. So <clears throat> let's look at the um, the function. The re the elevator first is the elevator up and down, and you'll see it's so pushing forward. That's down or forward. <laughs> for your plane, it's down, it's down, and for a quad, it's going forward. It's funny. And um, same thing when you pull back, it's going opposite direction. So if you're facing the um, the screen, push forward is right. Um, yeah, push forward is right. Going is um. The, the indicator go to the right and um, pull back would be um, going to the left and then neutral would be the center. Aileron is same is almost I um aileron is uh what should say it's in the right orientation so right it's going to the right and left it's going to the left. Right, so let me see if I can get the board in the shot. Okay, so let's do this like that so you can get to see both action. So left, um, right aileron, it's going to the right. Left aileron is going to the left. Huh? What the hell? Okay, something weird. Just stop working. Um, oh, you know what? There's no connection here. Oh, here you go. I don't know what. Oh, my my um thing. They just press the enter button. So let me bring it back. Oh, I'm a little bit further back. 
Okay. All right, <laughs> let's do it again. So, right aileron, right um, indicator on the aileron, left is left. Um, forward is right on your flight indicator, on your elevator. On the elevator going forward, it's going to the right and coming back, pulling back is going to the left. Um, throttle, which you expect, full forward, full throttle me is going to your right, and full, uh, uh, what will be landing is our no throttle, zero, well, landing, trying to land is going to your left. I have to think about airplanes, stop thinking about airplanes. Um, <clears throat> rudder which is um, yaw, would be right and left. So left, um, right yaw, it's going to the right and left yaw. And um, throttle going forward is to the right and vice versa. Now, <clears throat> when you arm it, there is a combination of signal it's sent to the quad to arm the motor. So if you look at the stick, bring both stick together, it do this weird. So this is arming. So aileron, elevator, and throttle is all the way down, which is all the way to the left, and rudder is all the way to the right. And that's how it armed the motor. Um, if you go out, let's try, try to go out and see what happens. So out is um, like pushing the stick this way and that way. So um, rudder and throttle and elevator is left and um, aileron is all the way right. So but I think the SK only armed coming down towards you, I'm not sure. So that's how it's armed right here. Okay. All right, um, return home switch, which will be on this radio. Okay, this is what the radio got, return home. I have it on this switch over here. Okay, it's easier to get to, it's a big switch, it's longer. So when I'm flying, I don't have to look down and know, I can feel and know that's it. That's the return home for my planes or my jet. It's my landing gear. So <clears throat> if I hit that switch, my um, channel six go to, to the center position. So six is, is the um, is return home. What else is there? There's something else I did. So you have six and you have uh, um, my, uh, my, my, what do you call this? Um, my gimbal. So pulling down, it's pulling, pulling back to me, it's, it's um, looking down. And that's channel eight. But because I'm, not going to the software, I'm going straight to the gimbal from the receiver. I didn't connect it directly. All right. And when you hit that switch too, in the return home, if you hit that return home, it actually shows on here. Okay. Um, there's something else, I'm not sure. For this switch, uh, i put something else in there, I'm not sure. Um, hmm. Channel seven is um. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> Cause I don't really use edit. Um, I don't use uh. What do you call this again? Edlock. I don't use that. Um, I guess it's for beginners when not sure where the orientations are. And um, I don't know if I can't find my orientation, I'm not gonna look for a switch to 
help me. It's like automatic. I'm going to try to fix it by flying it. So um, that's one thing I didn't discount. I didn't connect, but I realized something. I need this switch to set my, my, um, to set my, uh, what do you call it? My, um, my compass. So I need to program it back in there. So I'll need to program. So, um, probably in the end point. But, and that's, that's, what, that's for a different day. Another day. Okay, so, back to, um, back to the, the beginning. Um, your throttle, this, your flight control should show all your stick movement. So your flight control, your control data is your flight control. So, elevator, aileron, and um, throttle rudder. Those are your flight, major flight control. The rest is just um, auxiliary, which is your return home, your head and lock. Um, oh, well, no, that's it, the go home. Yeah, your go home switch. Um, oh, this is landing, I think this is landing. So, my pulse, you know, when you press this button here, it's, I think it's one, it's for landing and takeoff. I think that's what this is. I think. <laughs> but I don't even use that neither. All right, so that's all for now. Um, hopefully, hope oh, this helped. I know my voice is very um, not that easy to understand, so bear with me. I have a thick accent, some Jamaican accent. So you'll, you'll get the picture. This is my telemetry um, unit. And um, it's working real good. It's a board right here. Okay. So, let's plug this out. Um, I didn't do any changes, so I don't have to uh, write, but you always read, always read first because um, this software default, um, here it is. It default at PPM, PWM, sorry. And when you, when you save it first, it's gonna write to this, bo this board, P PWM, which it doesn't have it in there, and your receiver is gonna be disconnected. So always make sure it's on PPM. And that's the protocol for this squad. All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.